So what's going on guys? Uh, I just got done prepping my food. I kind of mix it up between chicken and turkey, but that's not the point while I'm here. I just feel like God laid this on my heart earlier. I feel like I want to get it off my chest because I feel like if God's talking to you, you should share it with people in fellowship with it. So my, my really good friend of mine, you know, texted me uh, sometime tonight. He has like a herniated disc and he probably won't be able to work out for a while until it's healed at least or back surgery. And that's a big deal. I just kind of want to tell you no matter what you're going through, what kind of adversity you're going through, the devil's going to pick and choose. He knows exactly who you are and what you're passionate about. And he's going to go after something you're passionate about and try to take it away from you. And I, I strongly advise you not to let that bring you down and discourage you and kind of stray away from your walk with God. Because I'm about to kind of tell you, like just give you a gist of my life and tell you what's what's going on in my life personally and how I overcame it. Well, you know, in high school, you know, I was super into football, like heavily into football. That's all I cared about. It was football, and then I would go to church on Wednesday nights at youth. And it was just church, football, church, football. That's all I did. And, you know, I was plagued with injuries in high school. Like, freshman year, I tore my labrum, and I didn't tell anybody because I'm an idiot. And that just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And by the time I was a sophomore, I had to have surgery on it. And that put me out for like five months and constantly pointing the finger at God like why'd you do this to me? You know, there's plenty of other people who deserve besides me. Just kept pointing the finger in his direction other than my direction whenever it was me being the whiner, the one complaining whenever I had so much I was blessed for. I distinctly remember whenever uh, I was going through that process with my shoulder, I went into church one day because we were performing a play. And uh, this kid with several palsy just comes strolling in on a wheelchair, happy as can be, you know, smile on his face. Didn't care that he was in a wheelchair, just was having a great time with everybody. And it just kind of like made me feel super guilty because I'm sitting here pointing a finger at God because of my shoulder whenever this kid came and walked. I mean, we're not, we, we truly don't understand like what we're, what, what we have in our life. So anyways, uh, later on in high school, you know, it was like a week before football season, I tore my ACL and <clears throat> you know, that devastated me, you know, cause that's, that put me out for a while. and. I went to have surgery on it and then staff formed right where they had to cut me open and it just put me back even more and more and more and then finally had surgery on it uh, my junior year in like November and I, long story short I retoured again my senior year and that put me out of football forever and <clears throat> I dealt with that a lot I kind of just got I don't want to say depressed but it really did like put a burden on my life and uh, I kept thinking of the negatives, keeping the, the exactly what Satan wanted to do to me. Like I kept just thinking, you know, why did he, t why did God take this away from me? But that's not the case at all. Like we should never, we should never point the finger at God when something bad happens in our life. Because if anything, it's not God, it's Satan. Because I don't know if you're aware. I don't know if any of you. I don't know how y'all believe. Obviously, by now y'all know I'm a Christian. <clears throat> but if you've ever read the Bible. The one, the one story I go by when it comes to adversity is Job, and Job was a super godly man, like gave everything to Christ. And I, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been a while since I've read Job. But Satan approached God and was like, "You have this super godly man, but he's never been tested." And God looked at Satan and said, "Take everything from Job, but do not touch Job." So Satan went out, took his sheep, took his land, took his family. And all that was left was Job. Could have easily cowered down and just stopped following God and could have just complained about everything, you know, questioned God and asked him why, why, why. But no matter how many times his friends told him, why do you serve a God that takes everything away from you? You know, he pretty much was like, I don't know what kind of God you serve, but I serve a God that loves me and he, and he loves me through no matter what. Because he knew that it wasn't the work of God, it was the work of Satan. So if you're, if you're going through something in your life right now that's just, really stressing you out and you just don't know where to go God's still there even whenever you don't even know it so I just feel like I really should have laid that out to I feel like somebody needed to hear that because you know if if you feel like you need to share something that God put on your heart share it to people and I know I finally have a gateway through YouTube as well because I don't want to make it just about fitness I want y'all to know my life and know what I stand for and know my morals so yeah that's pretty much a gist of my adversities I faced with injuries and how I overcame it and how I realized that if it wasn't for God I wouldn't be where I am today in fitness. This is the last thing and then we're going to move on. Uh, my pastor a long time ago said your worst miseries will become your greatest ministries and that is the absolute truth. I've never came out of something whether it be adversity or just a bad time 
where I can't say it built my character or I learned from it. So I really hope you guys, you know, got a really good message from God laying that on my heart. And I hope, you know, that we learned something together. But anyways, we're gonna back off that story. So uh, it's Thursday, I hit legs yesterday. Uh, my buddy Chance and Austin and Elaine were all there. It's kind of a goofy video, so we're gonna kind of rewind and go to that, go to that day. So I hope, I hope, I don't know, just you'll see. It's getting us. Did you start it? Yeah, dude. It's definitely not getting me. But I don't. It's definitely getting you. It's definitely getting you. There's no way. I guess we'll just have to find out, dude. You ever stop? I, it's just getting me. You're gonna make the. It's just. It's getting. No, now it's just getting you. No, it's getting. Oh, what's about to fall? Yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'll just. Good. I got it. It's getting both. That's of the us. point. Now, now it looks like you're vlogging. I'm not vlogging. You're, you're vlogging. You're holding my camera. I'm vlogging you. Vanilla, bro. Hallie gets lit. All those things. Ugh. Like she gets faded. Really? Bad, dude. I this was the this. guy in my last vlog that I talked about. He's the guy that took like three months to actually start watching my vlogs. That's not true. Yes, I watched it, it quick. No. I watched the first two the, pretty much the day you dropped it. And then you posted two more years later. Yeah, dude, I, my last video I got two new subscribers. I, I was saw a, that. You were from I was 48 40, to 50. Yeah. Oh, so I don't know you. I'm huh? actually impressed. Yeah, bro. Dab yeah. me, bro. Dab me. Bro, I got caffeine right here. That's Coke. Diet Coke. It's <laughs> basically a full scoop. It's Diet Coke. What are you, what Look, are you doing? It's a bull. What are you doing back there for? What are you doing? What are the odds you work out on this today? <laughs> <laughs> Just squats. You got to put your earbuds in and everything. And your safety goggles. <laughs> One out of ten. One out of ten. Hold on. Are <laughs> you locking in your number? <laughs> You ain't gonna be able to do it, bro. Alright, ready? One, I got my number. One, two, three, six. six. <laughs> it works every time. <laughs> it works. Why did that just happen? I don't know, bro. I think you've hacked into something. <laughs> I think you found a cheat code. I tried on you. Sure. <laughs> what are the odds that you do it? I'm not, you have one thing. Yeah, but you have, like, we, oh, you're trying to get between out. sets. <laughs> no, between sets. Bruh. Dude, will you please play the song I asked you to play? <laughs> it's freaking 9-11. You're not going to so, play Alan Jackson. I don't care about America. That's what it is. Same bed, but it feels just a little bit bigger now. Oh, wait. You're still, you're not, you don't even have your number yet. Song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. I don't wanna do this. What happened? Oh, oh, oh. oh God, bro. Oh, oh God. God, bro. This oh, my life. Oh, God, bro. I do this. I really do this. Let's play some Alan Jackson. Where were you when the world stopped turning? That September day. One in six. He's not gonna be able to do it. All right, three, two, one, two. One. Learned. I just hacked into it. I, I rehacked the hack. Chance had to go get his car. Uh, I got squats tonight. I'm gonna show y'all, you know, me squatting, obviously. I got shoulders too. I might record it. Who knows, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna record that or not. I just wanna show y'all my compounds. What I'm focused on at the moment is to show y'all my compounds, compounds week to week to week. Like right, bench, squat, deadlift. I deadlifted yesterday, so I don't know how my squats are gonna be tonight. But uh, Chance is gonna try to get 225 for 12 reps for four sets on bench tonight. And I told him if he did that, I'll try to get 455 for like six on squat. So it's gonna be fun. And let's go to work, my dudes. All right, so the goal today on the squat uh, I usually go like I'll go up like a 45 each time. So I just did 135 and 225. Now I'm about to do 315. And the main goal I do is to try to get around 455 for around hopefully five reps, if not four. But I'm just trying to slowly build my way back up to where I was before I did that cut that I did last spring. So 
uh, or yeah, last spring. So uh, right now I'm about to do 315 for five, then I'll do 365 for five, and then I'll try to get 405 for around eight to 10 reps, preferably eight. And then right after that is whenever I really start getting into the five rep range, and we're about to have fun. So Chance is about to do his bench, uh, his bench press sets. We'll see if he gets four sets to 12, but yeah, let's get after it. What was it 15? Huh? 15 reps? What do you think? 15 uh, solid reps. No spot. Really? <laughs> you think you could do it? No, but I could try. Okay. <laughs> if you feel like you need a racket, racket. Just wait a second. There it goes. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. Oh. Give me some, bro. Give me some dabs on that. I mean, was nervous. He literally just—you could have got a 15th one if it wouldn't hit that. I it know. Hit it hit that, you would have got 15 twice. Yeah. Jeez, dude. What a freaking set. Stand up. Come on. Come on. Stand up. Good. Good. Stand up, Johnny. Come on. Come on. Stand up. Big rip. Woo. That's got to be. You. I heard you. All right. Away with that. This set. You just got that for 14, so. 10? 10? If you can't, please, do, for the love of God, if you can't get it, rack it. Now eat my finger, eat my finger. There you go. Oh God, here comes Austin. Here comes Austin. After this set. There you go. Two, three, four, come on. Five, halfway there. Six, seven, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eight, come on, don't pause it. Up. Oh. Uh. Ah. That hurt, bro. <laughs> I hope you hit it that far. Nope, I'm not. So I did 425 for six. Felt like straight butter. So we're gonna go to 455. Hopefully, get that for six. Uh, one main thing I want to like let y'all know: the most important thing with legs is squats. If you're hitting leg day and you ain't squatting, you're pretty much missing the whole point of it. So. I really advise people that are scared to get under a squat rack at the gym to get under the squat rack because, I mean, you can vouch for me. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, it's important. Right? So I'm about to hop into it.
You can't see me. That's right. I was hoping to God you weren't going for six. Really? I was scared of five. Right here. Uh, okay. 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 Come on. Four. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five minutes. Feel? Oh, I didn't do a bad. Hi, right. my name's Trey. I got a basketball game tomorrow. You don't watch Bond? I'm gonna, I never watch Bond. If, you're, if you hit 15, Austin's got to call you daddy the rest of the night. All right, bet. Bet. I can't hear you. He's he he shook on it. I cannot hear you. Why don't you do So what do you say? Backups, why don't he do 315, what, eight times? Take a plate off, do 225 15 times, take a plate off and do 135 20 times. That's a pretty good back off set. You have 315 on this side. You have four plates on that side. <laughs> This guy's a genius, bro. I don't know why I hang out with these guys, bro. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? I say you could just like jump into the video like right that. Fact, you don't party. All right, don't even bring that into my vlog. Anyways, before I was really interrupted. What's up, guys? <laughs> okay, we can't do this. We only have, we've already made right. twenty minutes. Yeah, long. I know. Okay. So sorry it took so long to post sorry this it took vlog. So long to post Quit this. mocking me. Sorry it took so long to post this vlog, guys. Uh, literally, me and Chance in the car alone was like twenty minutes long. And it's just really hard to condense all that into three freaking minutes before yeah. we actually get to the workout part of it. So, but we got it done. Uh, video should drop either tomorrow or tonight. Depends on how late I stay up. But uh, hope you enjoyed the content. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Long story short, hope you enjoyed it. And yeah. I'm, I'm subscribe. Letting you up for, really? Okay. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Subscribe, like. Uh, tell I've your never, friends. I've never said that if in you're, vlogs. If you're, uh, if you're, if you want to share it, share it. What else can you do? Get, make you a can, sign. You can copy the link. Make and put a it on sign. Your, <sighs> you can copy the link, put it on your Snapchat. Yeah, that's probably the reality. That's what you should do. Yeah, just, and then just keep just posting it. Yeah. I'm trying to get. No, nah, I'm not trying to get big. Dude. I'm just trying to be cool, bro. You are cool. You're cooler. Thanks, bro. We're like, I know this isn't gonna get any publicity, but dude, we compare ourselves to like Grayson and Ethan and the Dolan twins. That's right. So we get that a lot, actually. Yeah. I mean, every time we walk out together, like they're like, "Is that the yeah?" Dolan pretty twins? much. We're just better looking. I mean, yeah, we're not better looking. You might be better looking, no, but you definitely. Better looking. Just get really close to the camera and see if like y'all can. Judges, who's 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 cuter? I got a fever blitz. Y'all comment who you think is the better looking guy. You're definitely you're definitely better, better looking. Look dude. at the, you can you got you can dude, rock the long. Whoever hair. isn't a part of like Hurley, Mississippi, this dude's like, don't say nothing crazy. <laughs> he knows how to talk to girls, man. That's all I'm gonna okay, say. Okay, you said something crazy. <laughs> That ain't crazy, bro. That's not crazy, bro. I'm just saying you know how to talk to girls. My battery's about to die, so before this, before my battery dies, I'm just going to go ahead and end it. Like and subscribe. It's the first time I've ever said that for my vlog because yes. I only have 50 followers or subscribers, but that's okay because yes. I'm not trying to get famous. Yes. But you're going to get famous. Maybe. Who knows? All right. We'll, we'll see you in the next vlog. All right. God bless. Bop! How do you end it?